Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about the turquoise. Turquoise has the distinction of being one of the oldest stones used for gems. The Egyptians started using turquoise as early as 6000 BC. It was used as an amulet to bring good luck and protect against illness, demons and misfortune and to enhance hunting skills. Even today, turquoise, beautiful and not terribly expensive, is one of the most popular gemstones. Though its name means Turkish stone, turquoise is found not just in Turkey but in Iran, Turkestan and the American Southwest. Some of the best turquoise specimens still come from the Sinai Peninsula. The first stones to arrive in Europe actually came from Iran, but had to pass through Turkey to get there. Turquoise is a type of hydrous phosphate of aluminum, with small amounts of iron that give it a greenish color and small amounts of copper that make it blue. Though blue is the preferred color now, in ancient times greener stones were prized. The models and veins of brown or black found in many turquoise stones is due to inclusions of limonite, which is brown, or manganese oxide, which is black. These inclusions make turquoise attractive, but specimens that are clear are more expensive. Turquoise does tend to turn greener over time. Rare turquoise specimens are white or brown, and these are found in the southwestern United States. Turquoise is nearly opaque, and so is cut into beads, cabochon, cameos and inlays instead of a faceted gem that let the light shine through it. Irregular turquoise tiles are used in mosaics, and Aztecs used these turquoise tiles to make ornate masks. Some of the most beautiful pieces of turquoise jewelry is made by Native Americans. The stone is often joined with wrought silver to create brooches, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, belt buckles and other items. Besides silver, turquoise is often used with other semi-precious stones such as coral, malachite and lapis lazuli. Some poorer quality turquoise is ground to powder then mixed with resin to reconstitute a gemstone. Often, these gems have tiny veins of brown or black. Turquoise can also be dyed, and a jeweler who plans to cut into the stone should be told this. Often, the dyes don't penetrate much below the surface of the gem. Polishing turquoise jewelry takes special skill. Nowadays the blue color is prized, and too much polishing can turn the stone green. The jeweler must also take care not to crack the stone, since its tenacity is brittle. The refractive index of turquoise is 1.61 to 1.65, and its relative density is 2.6 to 2.8, which means it will sink in water. It is a soft stone and easy to carve, with a moss hardness of 5 to 6. It belongs to the triclinic crystal group. This means that the axes of the crystal are at different angles, and none of the crystal faces are perpendicular, or at 90 degree angles. Turquoise has no cleavage to speak of. This means there is no direction along which the stone breaks more easily. When turquoise is fractured, it breaks into pieces that resemble seashells. This is called a conchoidal fracture. The stone has a weak pleochroism, which means it doesn't change color much when it is looked at from different angles. Because it is opaque, the colors of the spectrum aren't reflected through it. This means turquoise has no dispersion. The resplendent color of turquoise might fade if it's exposed to strong light or heat. The stone should also be kept clean because it's porous and absorbs dirt and grease. It shouldn't be exposed to dry air, sweat, soap or water. 
Because of this, many pieces of turquoise are protected with resin or wax. Others are protected with turquoise matrix, which is a mix of turquoise and limonite or other minerals. Turquoise shouldn't ebb cleaned with chemicals or ultrasonic cleaners. It should be cleaned with warm, soapy water, rinsed thoroughly then dried completely and immediately with a soft, clean cloth. Place it in a velvet bag or its own felt-lined compartment in a jewelry box to protect it. That's it. I hope you will find it helpful. Please share your comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.